portable thermal foggers. These machines are used to treat dwellings and certain open spaces that are of limited size or have limited access, such as markets, hotel grounds, and parks. Space spraying or pulverization is also known as fogging. Before using a thermal fogger, you should know its characteristics and parts, many of which you will have to handle in the future, employing safety measures as you do so. Pesticide injection system, air pump button, combustion chamber guard, combustion chamber, spark plug, pesticide tank, fuel tank, carburetor, power button. Operating the equipment. To ensure proper application of the insecticide, it is important for you to know how each piece of equipment functions. Before turning the machine on, make sure it is on the floor. Never activate the machine in closed environments and always do so far from people, animals, or inflammable products. To ensure that the machine operates properly, you should verify that the internal batteries or external battery are in good condition. You should verify that the battery is charged before using the fuel or mixture. For this purpose, press the power button with one hand while with the other hand making contact between the carbonized end of the spark plug and the machine's metal. If there is a spark, the batteries are charged. If not, charge them. To make sure that you get a spark, verify that there is a distance of 2 mm between the carbon and the base of the spark plug. In preparing the mixture, always use a funnel with a filter to prevent particles from entering the insecticide tank since they can clog the filter. Once the insecticide mixture is ready, it should be put in the tank. When you fill or refill the fuel tank, the machine may be hot, so make sure that no fuel leaks have occurred since they could set the machine on fire. The machine is activated by pressing the power button, which is located beside the fuel tank opening. Then you should pressurize using the hand pump or air pump. When the spark plug ignites the gasoline air mixture in the combustion chamber, gases exit the long exhaust tube, the end of which has a nozzle that injects the insecticide to be vaporized, producing a dense white fog. Once the machine is activated, the batteries stop functioning and the carburetor takes over, continuing the process of vaporizing the insecticide. In most machines, the flow rate is controlled by adjusting the discharge to halfway, usually to between 5 and 6 on the dial. Verifying the discharge by spraying a sheet of paper 60 centimeters from the nozzle, the fog should always be dry, so the paper should not be wet once you have done this. Some equipment uses nozzles that go from 0.7 to 1.7 millimeters in diameter, and as the diameter increases, the mixture discharge flow increases. Steps to take before starting the fogging. Before starting to spray the insecticide, inform the dwelling's occupants about the purpose of the fogging and what time it will take place and about measures to prevent poisoning. Turn off the stove and any other flame source. Cover food. Close the windows. Remove pet cages and food containers from the dwelling. Occupants and pets should leave the dwelling. Before beginning fogging, you should inspect the dwelling to make sure no people are inside and identify the route that you are going to take. Make sure that the electrical system is turned off at the main switch. Also turn off heating equipment and stoves to avoid a fire hazard. Once the space spraying is finished, all the doors should be closed. This will maximize the treatment's effectiveness. Building occupants should be told that once the waiting time has passed, they should enter and open windows and doors to ventilate the interior. Functioning of the equipment. 
Remember to regularly verify that the gasoline and insecticide tanks are closed during fogging. To prevent accidents, also make sure that the tank's insecticide shutter valve is closed. When spraying, never point the machine's discharge tube up since the diaphragm could catch fire and cause irreparable damage to the equipment. The discharge tube should be pointed down or parallel to the floor so that the thermal fog rises and penetrates the dwelling. Spraying begins in the rear part of the building and moves forward toward the entrance. In small spaces, the spraying can be done from the entrance or from a window without having to enter the dwelling entirely. In buildings with several stories, space fogging begins on the upper story, moving downward toward the ground floor and from the rear part of the building toward the entry, walking backwards and moving away from the fog in order to minimize exposure to the insecticide and to ensure visibility for the operator. To turn the machine off once the fogging is finished, the mixture's shutoff valve should be closed to prevent more insecticide from being released. You should wait 5 to 10 seconds before shutting off the motor. Lastly, you should slowly open the covers of the two tanks to release all the pressure in the tanks and prevent any potential combustion of the gases. Calibration of the equipment Remember that calibrating the equipment ensures that the correct dose of insecticide will be vaporized. You should calibrate the machine periodically. Normally, after 25 hours of operation or when scheduled maintenance is performed. Proper calibration requires that the specific instructions provided in the manual be followed. You should also measure the size of the insecticide droplets after every 50 to 100 hours of operation and after any long period of disuse, as well as when changing insecticides. You will find the various techniques for measuring droplet size in Space Spray Application of Insecticides for Vector and Public Health Pest Control, a Practitioner's Guide. Equipment Maintenance Maintenance of the equipment ensures that it will remain in good condition and that the insecticide will be applied properly. These activities should be carried out after reviewing the relevant maintenance manuals. Always remember to perform the following procedures. Drain the tank of insecticide after each use. Clean with kerosene or diesel. Stir and empty. Clean the discharge tube after every four hours of use. Clean the insecticide filter with detergent and water after every eight hours of use. Clean the carburetor after every eight hours of use. If the machine has an insecticide nozzle, wash it with gasoline after every 12 hours of use. Verify that the insecticide and gasoline tanks are firmly closed. Otherwise, there is a risk of moisture or dirt coming in contact with the mixture or the fuel. Clean the spark plug, removing carbon remains. If this is not done, there will be no spark and the equipment will not turn on. Verify the state of the batteries and their functioning by making the spark plug spark as indicated above. If the machine has a piston, you should grease it and make sure the protective screen is in place. Store the machine with the tanks closed in a dry environment protected from the sun.